Yeah, so uh, my name is Ty Brown. Um, 23 years old. I grew up in California all my life. Uh, born in Louisiana, but I came out here literally the first day after I was born. So I was out there for one day. And it just happened to be the first day. But I am Cali raised. I've been um, back and forth between LA, Santa Cruz. For most of my majority of my time spent in Santa Cruz, though. Built that foundation out here. Grew up playing football, playing basketball, doing track and field. Wasn't um, fighting up until um, about December of last year so uh, very uh, new but I took it took it running I you know just basically fell in love with it fell in love with fighting and been doing that for um, that this almost a year coming up on that so it's been a blessing man it's been um, a journey that I love the way that I actually got into fighting is a lot of the males on my dad on my mom's side of the family about the last eight of 12 men um, had died from murder and so I was like man I really just want to know how to defend myself like I grew up playing football and basketball track and I understood the importance of hard work so I was like you know what I really want to be that guy I want to be able to defend myself I want to be you know well versed in everything and so I was like you know let me just see how far I could take it I started off and I sucked at it and I was like dude this is this is awesome like I fell in love with the process I fell in love with getting better every day and um, still I love getting better every day I love that there is no cap in this sport you can just continue to push so that's really what got me into fighting I was like man just the drive to want to get better the growth mentality and wanted to be able to defend myself um, fighters rep has been phenomenal uh, phenomenal organization I've only fought under them one time but they served on me very well. They were very um, accountable. Everything they said they were going to do, they did. Every single thing I needed to do, they helped me through that process and everything. So it was a wonderful time. It's been a, it's a great organization to be a part of. A lot of big names in this organization. A lot of strong fighters. So um, I really, really enjoy fighting under Fighters Rep. Dude, so Peterson's Grappler, beautiful team, my phenomenal team. Um, don't just plan on doing kickboxing. I'm going to do MMA at some point, but they are the well, most well-rounded organization gym anything that i've been a part of they're so sharp on it they they intertwine different styles very well um for my striking training under sugarfoot is all i could ask for it's a blessing he, he's a phenomenal undefeated fighter um i just want to take i want to be able to carry his name even further so it's wonderful being able to train under him um come into practice there's so many different MMA fighters we got professional fighters here we've got professional MMA fighters here we got grapplers here we got literally everybody every type of athlete you can run into and so it is literally a blessing it's been wonderful training with my team yeah so um, I know that he's he's sharp he's a taller fighter he's long he um, likes to fight on the in, on, on the outside he likes to keep people from getting inside doesn't really like to be on his back foot very much. Um, follows up his kicks very well with straights. He loves his straights. Um, I, I think he's a um, very talented fighter. Young, seems hungry. So I think he's a well-rounded guy. Um, so right now, um, just focusing. I'm doing both. I'm doing my kickboxing and my uh, MMA. I do want to jump into the MMA ring, but for right now, I'm just focusing on my kickboxing, my striking. I want to um, hopefully go ahead and get a, a belt with fighter rep, fighters rep, then move on to get another belt in uh, MMA organization, and then just take it from there. I just want to collect belts, improve myself. Really, the whole journey is all about growth. It's just about becoming the best version of myself, the best fighter that I can be. Um, and seeing where that takes me. Yeah, man, the, the fans can expect fireworks, can expect a clinic of sharpness. Both of us are going to bring sharpness. Both of us are going to bring danger, intensity. We're both going to be ready. So I am super excited, and you guys should be super excited to expect just pure technical violence. I, I definitely want to, first things to go to Sugarfoot. Pete Cunningham, he has been a phenomenal coach, a phenomenal sensei. He has taught me so much. He has taught me the mindset, the skill set, everything that I need to do. I want to thank my family for, you know, being there for me, supporting me and doing this. And so I think those are really the two big people that I want to I want to thanks, but I really, really want to give 
Actually, I do want to give a really big thanks to my team too. My team has been phenomenal with helping me prepare for this fight. Helping my cardio, helping my strength, helping my sharpness, speed, technique, pre preparation, all of that. So those are the big things for me. You, you can get your tickets from me personally or you can go online, fightersrep.com, buy the tickets there, put in Ty Brown, T-A-I-B-R-O-W-N, and uh, get your boy and come watch your boy show up.